How's it going guys? Mr. Squiddy back with another Nintendo YouTube video. And as you can see by the title, today is May the 4th, National Star Wars Day. So I want to do a little video on Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga on the Switch. Obviously, I have the, my bad, I have the Switch version because it's a Nintendo channel. Um, because this game is, is new and still relevant, I really want to do a review of it because I have some mixed feelings on it. I've seen a lot of reviews about people talking about how much they love the game, and I think this is a really, really good game. And as I've been playing through it, I haven't completed it, but as I've been playing through it, I've actually enjoyed it more and more as I've gone through. But I'm in episode 5 right now. I go in number order, not by how the movies were made. I didn't watch the original trilogy first, and then so on and so forth. I watched from episode 1 all the way through. I have never seen episodes 7, 8, and 9 because I am not a fan of them because I, I started watching part of 7, didn't like it. I really don't like what Disney has done with Star Wars, but that is my personal opinion. <sighs> to get, but to get that out of the way, I do overall like this game. I do recommend it. Let's start with that. I do recommend this game to people that like Lego games and as well as people who like Star Wars because the, the take on Star Wars I did with this game was really, really good. It's more open world. You either roam around just for fun. You can kill random your characters in the game just for fun. You can see random people walking on the street on Coruscant and take your lightsaber and chop them up just for fun. I know that sounds kind of messed up, but you know, it's just cool. You can go around and do things. You don't just have a good time with it. And it, it, it a different take on Star Wars or on Lego Star Wars or on Lego games in general. When I watched reviews on it before it even came out, people were talking about how it felt like you're playing a game and the characters are Legos, not a Lego game itself. And I have to agree with that. But there are some certain things in this game that really do bother me. Yes, I understand it's Lego and they try to make it more kid friendly, you know, and different things, you know, and funny little cutscenes. Like I thought it was funny in episode two after Battle of Geonosis when um, Obi-Wan and Anakin are trying to find, or chase down Dooku, that they appear and they find him and he's in a little scrub thing and, and taking a bath. So that was kind of funny. But at the same time, in episode one, the end of the movie is Darth Maul being cut in half. Sorry if anyone's never seen episode one or played this game, you know, but I know anything about Star Wars, but you know, he gets chopped in half by Obi-Wan after Qui-Gon dies. Or before he's dead, but after he's down, about to die. But Anyways, uh, there's parts of the game that take place after, in, in the game after um, that scene, which came in the movie before that scene, and it kind of bothered me, the order of it, as well as, I think they overdrew that whole scene in general, about what, uh, how he dies, if you haven't seen it, in, in, in the video game, it's in like the movie, the movie, Qui-Gon gets stabbed, but Darth Maul goes down, then Obi-Wan you know, cuts him in half, you know, blah, blah, falls down the pit and then jumps back up and cuts him in half. But in the game, Obi-Wan cuts him in half first, then high fives Qui-Gon, and then Qui-Gon gets stabbed, and then it ends with Obi-Wan kicking Darth Maul's head to like a basketball hoop. I, I, I get the funny jokes, but I feel like they did too much and didn't take seriousness into the game. To a certain extent, I mean, in episode two, one of the biggest things people loved, you know, was uh, the scene with Anakin trying to find his mother and he finds her right, right before, literally seconds before she dies and he goes in his revenge and, and kills a whole bunch of the Tusken Raiders. In this game, you didn't even get to play that part. It makes a little, it's literally a little cutscene where it just shows him going to the tent and then chopping out a bunch of Tusken Raiders as their, their Lego body parts come flying out of the tent. Like, I mean, it, 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 I, certain scenes throughout the game so far that I played in episodes 1, 2, 3, and 4, like I said, I'm in 5 right now, have really messed with the st missed key parts the story you get to play through, and it bothers me. Uh, overall, like I said, I do like the game, but I just really feel like they were missing a lot of things. They cut out a lot of things that I thought were crucial parts. Like I said, I haven't really seen, I only saw like 20 minutes of episode 7, and I haven't seen 8 or 9 at all. So I don't know how accurate to the movie those things are, those two, those uh, three games are going to be. But obviously, of course, it's a Lego game, so it's not going to be 100% accurate. I just feel like they could have been a little bit more accurate than they were. But overall, I still like the game a lot. I would like to see this style be maybe if they re amp the Harry Potter series or Pirates of the Caribbean or Lego Batman or whatever, any other Lego game. 
Lego Jurassic Park or anything like that, I would love to see them, you know, amp it up the way they did this. Because it, overall, I am enjoying it and I can't wait to play the rest of it. But when I originally thought about making this video before I'd only been through, like, episode one and two by that point, I really thought about, you know, doing this video in a different way because I, 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 I was a little more upset about everything. Now that I actually played more of it, I do actually enjoy it. And like I said, I do recommend it. It's a really, really good game. I just feel like they kind of had misses on some big things I needed to, you know, they, they could have fixed or whatever worked out. There, there were other skits like not, you know, be a spoiler, too much of a spoiler, but in episode three, when you fight Anakin, at the end of Obi-Wan, and the whole, I, you know, it's over, Anakin and I have the high ground scene. It's a cutscene of him jumping off the thing and landing on, like, a giant ladder. And he's like, it's over, Anakin, I have the high ground. That was kind of funny. But, I mean, some things, I feel like they just overdid it a little too much. But, I don't know, maybe that's just me. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I liked it. I enjoyed it. I'm still enjoying it. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and finish it. But I really think they could have fixed a few things. But overall, I still think this is a good game, and I still think it's worth you picking up. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, or you have a different opinion of, you know, how the game how the game is, leave a comment down below telling me what you thought they did right or what they did wrong, or what you disagreed with what I said, or what you even agreed with with what I said. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. If you want to go ahead and subscribe, that'd be cool too. I appreciate you guys for watching. May the fourth be with you. And remember, if it isn't Nintendo... It's pretendo.